Hi guys, Steph here. Right, over the weekend, um, I found a small pen hole, as you can see here. Um, unfortunately, quite a few of them are sort of, if you like, for parts. There's a few pens that are very interesting, um, and there's a few pens that need parts. Just very briefly, um, there we go, we've got a Schaefer, Snorkel, um, that needs a few parts, which I may have. Um, We've got a blue sort of swan fountain pen. You can see the clip is broken. Um, this one's a 3120. If anybody's got a cap, spare cap, please let me know. Um, we've also got a swan cell filler. Again, you can see the clip's broken off. So we need a new cap for that as well. If anyone's got a cap for that, please let me know. We've got a lovely... Black Swan, um, I think this is a 3260, you can see the clip is is there, everything's there, except, there we go, it's got no section. I may have a nib for this pen, but if anybody's got a section for this pen, um, it, again it's a 3260, again please let me know, it'd be appreciated. Um, we've got a few more pens that to be quite honest with you, some of the pens I've actually already done reviews for you. I found this one, a Stevens Leverfill pen. Now, this one I've already restored. Um, you can see it comes with a box, instructions. Um, I've already restored it. It's in gorgeous condition. Um, it's a Leverfill pen. I'm not going to do a review on it because, quite simply... I've had the same pen before, I've reviewed it, so basically this one will not be reviewed, but what I'll actually do at the end there, I'll leave you um, a link to this particular review, but there's a swan, um, not a swan, it's a St Stevens lever fill, and we'll try and find a new home for that one, we've got a swan, um, I think it's a self filler is it? Um, it's the number two. We'll give this a little bit of a service. It may have a nice um, a nice nib on it. So, again, the number two. I've already done your review on this particular pen. Parker Do Fold. You can see it's got the clip missing. Not the clip. Well, yeah, it's got the clip. The jewel um, to the top there missing. So we need to find parts for that as well. I think I've done your review on that one as well. Um, we've got a, another pen here. A nice old pen. This one's got no name on it. It's got this lovely chase pattern. Um, but what I'll do, I'll service this one. I may do a review on it. Um, but again, well, it, I've got the parts. We just need to give it a good service. So that'll be done. And two lovely interesting pens, look at that, a Conway Stewart, um, Tiger Eye, the only thing with this, I've got all the parts apart from, if I turn it round for you, there we go, you can see it's got no lever, if anybody's got a lever for a Conway Stewart 60 Executive Again, please let me know, it would be appreciated, because I've got all the parts for this one. As soon as I can get a lever, we can find a new home for it. Also, look at that beauty. A gorgeous green lizard skin. Um, I'm in the process of actually servicing this one. We've got all the parts. So, yeah, I might do a review on this particular pen um, once it's done. As I say, it's... I've took things apart already, but look at that, a lovely sort of green lizard skin. So all them pens, we'll try and find parts, some of them we'll review, some of them we won't because I said I've done your reviews on them before. But last but not least, I'm just going to do a very brief review on this particular pen here. And what we have, as you can see it comes in the case, a little bit modern for me personally, but I know you people like to see pens, so what we actually have here is a Parker Vector XL fountain pen and ballpoint pen set. As you can see, it comes in its own box. It's 
so that's the ballpoint for you there as you say I'm not a big fan of ballpoints but there we go it comes with this set so we'll pop that back in there let's take the pen out the set comes with as you can see a Parker cartridge this pen set has never been used the pen has never been used but because I've never seen one before and it well it came with all these that I found so let's do a very brief review so what we've got as I say the Parker Vector XL comes in this what they term as a silver grey with chrome trim if we take it up towards the cap you can see it's got this sort of smallish cap band I don't know if you can actually see it let's keep it nice and still just underneath the clip there you can see it's got Parker and then somewhere if we twirl it round you can see it says made in England and it also has on this one I think it was Y I think it was 1-1 one, one. either way I'm dating the pen set to 2006 so as we said quite modern the clip there you can see still is a Parker but very different from what we know from the vintage pens a much more if you like a much more streamlined kind of clip but still what we term as an arrow clip and then to the top there we've got this chrome sort of finial to the top of the cap and then to the very top of the cap as with sort of the older some of the older pens you can see it's got a lovely sort of grey jewel to the top there to the other side or the end of the barrel you can see it's got this again this chrome or stainless steel end to the end of the barrel there the size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel it's around about 130 millimeters capped around the diameter it's approximately 11.5 millimeters in diameter but all in all a lovely sized pen well I thought so as I say it's not for me it's a little bit too modern but there are people out there that love the Parker Vector pens so hopefully you'll enjoy this if we take the cap off which is a push on push off cap there we go let's give you some of the customary twirls give you different angles all in all as I say it's actually a lovely pen it's quite a very well it's a nice size as well you can see the section there we've got this steel section and to the very top there we've got a stainless steel Parker nib a slightly smaller size nib there's a sideways view for you and then if we show you the feed underneath there you can see quite a modern Parker feed and if we hold it up to a to the correct angle I don't know if you can actually see it but within the feed it actually has the letter F and that stands for fine so it's got a lovely fine nib if we unscrew it this section for you and there's the barrel as you saw earlier it takes cartridges whether it actually would accept a converter I'm not 100% sure but I would say I see no reason why it would not because it accepts the standard cartridges from Parker so I'm sure it would accept a converter now I'm not going to fill the pen because as I say the pens never been inked but I know you people like to see pens writing so what we're going to do we're just going to simply dip the nib in the ink and just to do a writing sample so we've got Parker Vector XL and the colour of this is what they term as a silver grey as we said with chrome 
chrome trim. It's actually a nice writer. As we said, it's a steel nib, so there won't be any variation in line. It's quite a hard, or quite a stiff nib, should I say. <coughs> Excuse me. All in all, there we go. It's a lovely, lovely writer. Writing, as it says on the nib, writing with a fine line. And again, very nice indeed. Quite a surprise. So, let's pop the ink to one side, we'll clean the nib off once we've finished the video and we'll find a new home for this set. I'm sure there's people out there that collect these pens who would enjoy it so as I say let's find a new home for it. There we go, the cap closes with a lovely satisfying click so let's bring the case back on and there we have it, a Parker Vector XL fountain pen and ballpoint pen in silver grey with chrome trim from 2006. And there we have it. So we'll leave it at that. It's just going to be a brief video. And also, don't forget what I said earlier. If any of you people out there have got the parts that I asked for for these pens. I would love to know, please let me know, it'd be very much appreciated, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment below, and if you possibly can, down below, please support my work, but for now, I'll just say, bye bye for now.